Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Modesty33 here, aka Chris with the C, back at you with another video. But if you need my channel, you just happen to click on welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out one or two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So you guys, today is Resurrection Sunday or Easter. Um, so I um it's been a pretty busy morning, so um, I got up very early so I could go to the very early service um, to avoid the stampedes, um, check out and say hello to a few people. So hence, you know, kind of the made up look and this is what I wore today. Um, I'll probably insert a picture. You guys might be interested. The hair was a bit unexpected. I had my hair in like two French braids. Um, all the way through and then I just kind of let the um, ends loose this morning and it was longer but you know how humidity and all the things work so <laughs> um, that's just what it is so um, but today you guys I wanted to film a few videos so this one is just going to be pertaining to some of my favorite things for the month of March as well as like I would say February and January really not too many things but um, I did want to share them just because there have been some things that I have been loving and these are some newer things into um, my regimen or collection or just that I've been implementing maybe I've had them for a while so we're going to just talk about like some beauty products um, a book um, also, yeah, handbags and also um, an item of clothing. So we'll go ahead and get started, guys. So I think I'm going to start off with like beauty slash makeup. So first of all, um, today um, on my lips, I'm actually wearing this right here in case you're curious. This is the um, Fenty Velvet Lip. What is it called? Yeah, Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So I've had these for quite a while. Um, this is the Riri. I have this on my lips, but I also have uh, the NARS Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, what is this called? It's essentially like a lip pencil and I'm pretty much out. So I will be restocking up on this for the Sephora um, Rouge sale that's coming up. So I will be getting another one of these pencils. Uh, I, I didn't expect to like this so much, but it really works well um, as, you know, just a lining for some of my questionable lip products. So yeah, these are the two that I'm wearing today just to kind of show you what this one kind of looks like. But this is what it is on the lips. So it's um, pretty much, yeah, the same as what it is in the tube, but I feel like it does dry down a little bit darker and it doesn't really get dry. It does transfer, but it doesn't really get dry. So I could just kind of rub my lips together and I still feel moisture. So I really do like these um, Fenty uh, Velvet Liquid Lipsticks overall. I have four of them now. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips. I will start off with that as being a favorite. Um, even if it's not this one, I don't wear this one too often, but I just thought it would go well with like the pink dress that I'm wearing. But I do wear the Velvet uh, Liquid Lipsticks. I have HBIC. Um, I just showed you Riri. I also have Wicked Wine, which is probably one of my favorites. I've worn that so much. Um, and I also have Breadwinner, which is a brown. So those are the four ones that I have, and those are definitely favorites. So um, the other favorite I've had on most days when I'm not wearing lipsticks or anything like that, I'm usually wearing a lip balm. So the newest lip balm that I have discovered um, to my collection is this one right here. This is the Topicals. Um, Slick Salve Mint Lip Balm. And I purchased this one actually on March 1st and I did like a pickup order in Sephora. And this was a very impulsive buy. Uh, this retailed for $16. And um, I happened to see someone on Instagram wearing it and talking about it. Um, and I don't know, I just kind of felt impulsive that day. So I decided to buy it and try it out. I actually have tried out the um, what else from Topicals? The, um, essentially the eye mask things. I don't know what you call them, but they're like, they're supposed to help with deep puffing as well as like lightening under the eyes. And I do have dark under eyes. Um, and so I have been using those and I like them. I don't know if they really do anything. I don't really have puffy under eyes. It's just mostly darkness under my eyes. But I do like those. And so it is from the same brand Topicals, which I didn't, I wasn't aware of that at the time. But um, this is definitely a favorite. I've used this every single day since getting it March 1st. 
Um, I definitely wear it to bed. Um, I like this more than the majority of my other lip balms. Um, I would say my favorite lip balm or yeah, probably lip balm uh, would be like the Dior one. But um, this one is a bit different from the Dior because I feel like the Dior is um, has a bit more substance and is a little bit more sticky. I feel like this one is more slick as the name says. Um, there, I know there was some kind of beef about this on YouTube or on maybe it was on TikTok where people were talking about this product. Um, it is owned, um, it is made by a black owned brand, if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong because I can put the correction um, somewhere in the description of the video if I am incorrect. But um, I believe, yeah, the owner of Topicals, um, yeah, is, um, yeah, it is, is black owned. And so there was some type of dispute about it, I think some time ago, but um, about the product maybe being too sticky, but I actually like uh, thicker lip products, but I don't find this one to be sticky. It is more slick, um, as the name says, and I highly recommend it. Probably when the VIB sale comes, I'll probably get one or two more of these. I like it just that much and again I've used this every single day yes it, it definitely does not go far from my lips and I definitely use it kind of like as a lip treatment before bed and it works better than yeah I would say pretty much most of the other lip one lip treatments that I have so for $16 I think yeah this one I would say um if I could compare it to another product I do have the La Mer lip balm, which also has a mint consistency, but this one I feel like is even better than that one. And that one is like $75 and this one is, yeah, $16. So I think this is a good value for $16. Kudos to the creator. Um, I think it's a very good product and I do plan on buying more. So the next thing I wanted to talk about as well as it relates to beauty, um, another Fenty product. And it is gonna be the um, Fenty Skin um, Butter Drop. What is it called? Yeah, it's the Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. See, these names are so long, so that's why I feel confident when I initially turn on the camera and then I'm like, wait, what is it called again? So yeah, um, I've been using this for quite a while. Um, I have been getting the refills, which do retail, I believe, for like $40. I think the original packaging is like $45 or maybe $50. Um, initially, I was just kind of like, oh, it's kind of a gimmick or whatever. You know, it's a nice, it's, um, you know, a nice kind of balm or uh, whipped cream. But guys, I mean, there probably is nicer stuff that is cheaper, but I really, really like this one. And so, yeah, I definitely will be refilling on these two with the VIB sale. Uh, I, yeah, I really, really like this product from uh, Creator Rihanna. This is her brand, Fenty Skin. And so... Yeah, I like her Fenty Skin as well as her Fenty Beauty products, as you can see with the, um, yeah, the uh, Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So yeah, I do use a variety of her different products, but yeah, this one I really love as well. Y'all know I'm a lotion person, and so I definitely will use this after I get out the shower and before going to bed. Um, anytime I'm dry, really, I keep one in the bathroom and then I keep one by the bed. So yeah, I do need to fill up on these. Um, these are always, yeah, kind of like, yeah, these are always uh, products that are um, on rotation for me. So yeah, definitely love this one. Um, and yeah, for me, it's worth the money. You guys could probably find something cheaper if you are wanting like a drugstore brand. But yeah, I just prefer to splurge on, you know, products for my body. I'm almost 40 years old now. I think my body deserves a little bit of a splurge. So, <laughs> so we're... Uh, continuing on with that and next products are gonna be my Hermes uh, nail polishes guys so I have been using these essentially since purchasing them and unboxing them for you guys so um, this is the one I have on my nails now this is the number 79 uh, John Imperial and that's what I have on my nails right now and so um, I had not polished my own nails in years. I usually go to the nail salon to get my toes and my nails done because I'm not really good at polishing because I feel like my hands do shake. But guys, yeah, I have been, I got the nail polish remover, I got the base coat, I got the top coat, um, I got the nail file, and I've just been doing the thing. So yeah, I've just been polishing my own nails, trimming them down. I do plan on going back to the nail salon uh, to get my toes redone and probably, yeah, to get my cuticles and all cleaned out. But I feel like it's very empowering, yeah, now to have these and to be polishing my own nails. 
Um, anytime I'm kind of sick of the color, I want to switch it up a bit. So that's been really cool. Again, these do now retail for $57 a piece, so quite expensive. I really just was interested in the colors, which is why I did the splurge to pay for um, you know, these nail polishes. So again, this one is the 79 John Imperial. This one is the number 80 Grease A Tube, and this is the one I really wanted. Um, but I did kind of want a brighter color since we're going into spring. And so, yeah, I have been wearing this one quite a bit uh, recently. Though, yeah, like this is more of a color I would gravitate toward. But yeah, I've been pretty much switching them up um, pretty regularly. So um, I probably will repolish my nails at some point and maybe go with this one again. But yeah, I definitely really like these. Uh, again, they were $55 a piece when I originally purchased them, but they have had a $2 increase. So now they do retail for $57 a piece. Um, will I repurchase? I could see myself repurchasing, especially with um, how frequently now I've been polishing my nails and been using them. So for me, I think it's worth the money. Um, but you don't have to, of course, spend $55 or $57 for nail polishes. I mean, they're pretty much merch um, at this point, but I really like them, so I do spend the money. So the next thing, what is the next thing we wanna talk about? So I would say in light of it being Resurrection Sunday, I did wanna talk about this book that um, I have been loving for like just months since I got it. Um, this is like a devotional book and it is the Gospel of John and it's a daily devotional um, by the church that I attend. So they kind of um, put together daily devotionals um, from the book of John and yeah, put it all, got it published and put it all in a book. So I've been loving this book and reading through the book of John. Um, yeah, like I feel like I... And like can be very inconsistent with daily devotionals at times but guys like yeah I've been in this book every single day for at least the past 90 days maybe even longer so even if I don't do it in the morning before I go to bed I would do it um and so it's just been very refreshing to have that consistency and I think I really like going scripture by scripture in one book of the Bible. Now, I will go to other books and reference scriptures um, from the um, scriptures that I will read in John. Um, you know, it'll take me all over the Bible. So I'm still getting a good dose of other books and other scriptures in. But it is, I don't know, just kind of calming to go through one book of the Bible. I don't know what I'm going to do when I finish this one. I'll have to find maybe something similar. I don't know if our church will come out with something else. I know we did one summer go through the whole book of Genesis. I don't know if they're planning to release like a Genesis book. That would be so awesome if they did. But yeah, this one is specifically the Gospel of John. Um, it was like $10 at our church that they were selling it for. And funny enough, you guys know what's so funny about this. And I noticed this yesterday and I've had this book for months. So like in the back, it says like, you won't be able to see it, but in the back it says made in the USA. Um, but it also says Columbia, South Carolina. If you did not know, that's where I moved from. So that's really funny. Um, and this was October 1st, 2023. So I think that's pretty crazy. But yeah, so I'm very, very happy to have like a daily devotional. Um, if you don't have one, I would definitely encourage you if you are, you know, Christian or you're really trying to develop some really good habits, you know, find a daily devotional that you can kind of get into, dig into and like really get a comprehension of certain scriptures within the Bible. It definitely can be very difficult and taxing if you're a new Christian or even if um, you've been in the faith for a while and you're trying to get into a consistent habit. This has definitely helped me. I would say that just going through one book and like just a devotional based on a few of those scriptures every single day. So I've really been looking forward to this like every morning. And if nothing else, I really definitely try to set aside the time to do this devotional. So yes, that has been um, one that I've loved. And then I will move on to my one clothing item. So you guys know that I work from home. So usually I'm in athleisure every single day. And this is one item I haven't really talked about in a while, but I've still been loving you guys. And it is none other than, uh, this is a Lululemon uh, full sip uh, scuba hoodie. And so it does have, you know, the hood on the back. This one is in the color magenta purple. This one I did not get from Lululemon. Um, I got this um, pre-loved, so to speak. 
um, from, I want to say from Poshmark. It was either Poshmark or Macari because they are kind of like a big seller of like Lululemon and athleisure kind of items like that. Um, at least I've been able to find quite a bit of things on either Poshmark or um, Macari. And I have sold some of my scubas through Macari. So we can talk about that in another video. But um, I have been loving these scubas. Again, this one is in the color magenta purple. It's one that I was looking for on the website and I could not find. And then this one came up on Poshmark, I think for a deal. So I went ahead and put in an offer and purchased it. This is in the size XL. So that's like my preferred size just because um, my main issue with the X, with the other sizes, the small and the medium large, I can fit them. However, the arms are not long enough. So I usually like the extra large because the arms are longer with the extra large. So, um, but yeah, it just has, you know, kind of the hair tie right here that you can take off and use as a hair tie. Nothing I would ever do, but um, I prefer the full zip just because I like the flexibility of having it open, um, not having to pull it over my head to take it off. So yeah, I have taken quite a liking to the full zips over the half zips. So yeah, this is definitely one of many that I do own. Um, I wouldn't say this one is my favorite. My favorite one actually is in the closet drying. And it's also one that I got pre-loved. I'll probably talk about those more in another video. Maybe I'll film that video today, maybe not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I wanna kinda talk to you guys and update you about what my scuba collection is looking like. But this has definitely been a favorite on a daily basis when I'm working from home. Next item, um, we're gonna get into a few luxury favorites. So the first thing is one that I recently got back into using which is so funny but um it is none other than my Louis Vuitton key pouch in the monogram um this is bringing me back you guys you guys know that um well if you've been on the channel long enough I originally got into luxury items back in 2016 if I'm not mistaken so before that, I didn't even know Chanel made bags. I thought they just did perfume and makeup. Um, I didn't know anything about Dior or any of these other brands, um, except for Louis Vuitton. I always knew about Louis Vuitton, but I didn't know other brands made bags or you know accessories, anything like that. I thought they were just purely makeup brands. So I learned quite a bit from YouTube, this YouTube space back in 2016. Um, as such, uh, this was the first item that I bought in the Louis Vuitton boutique in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, and at the time, this Louis Vuitton key pouch, it retailed, I think, for like $195. And so I paid like a little bit over $200 after taxes. I don't know what they retail for now. Um, but I know they're, they're definitely, I think, over $300 now. Um, but yeah, this one is quite old. It does have like tarnishing on the like zipper pull. And then yeah, the zipper pull is green. I have cleaned this off before with a brass cleaner. I had thought originally about getting the zipper replaced, but really it just needs to be cleaned off with the brass cleaner and then it's all good. Um, but yeah, I originally went to Louis Vuitton to ask them about replacing the zipper and they said, well, you might as well get a, a brand new one if you're going to do that. Because I think to replace the zipper, they said was like at least $100, maybe more. So I, I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, I guess for the nostalgia of this piece, I mean, I think this definitely was made well. It's symmetrical, as you can see. And the, you know, monogram is not very dark. Kind of well when i say dark it's not like very bright um i kind of like it i feel like it blends very well and like i said it's very symmetrical you see like here there's the four two here this is in the middle um same way on the other side and this is like you know the chain portion so i just have this attached to my keys i originally switched out of my chanel zippy coin wallet um yeah, I think last week when um, I went to go volunteer, so then I switched into this and just kind of put some of my ne necessary cards in here. And yeah, I never switched back into my Chanel wallet. I probably will switch back, but right now I've just been enjoying the nostalgia of using this again because it's just been kind of sitting up on my nightstand. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this. And so along the lines with Louis Vuitton, um, I've also been really enjoying 
this right here, guys. This is my um, tried and true Louis Vuitton bum bag, um, the original, the OG bum bag. I got this one in 2020 before it was discontinued. Um, I still actually have some items in here because I was using this recently. But guys, I don't know, like something about the patina, um, something about, you guys can kind of see how brown it's gotten. It is uneven in certain areas. Like this is brown, but there are certain areas like here. I don't know if you guys can kind of see the difference but it is a little bit lighter in some areas, but this one definitely has a nice brown patina. Um, and like I said, um, for these top pieces, that, that brown patina is pretty consistent. Um, and this is like the back portion with the wonderful back zipper. Um, and you can see what that looks like. Cause like I said, I think, I feel like this is a bit brighter than this. I think it is. So yeah, I feel like it, the canvas is definitely different. Like this one is, I don't know, for me it's a little bit more subtle and this one is a bit brighter. But I still like this back quite a bit. Um, you can kind of see again what it looks like on the back though. And then this is the top. Oh my gosh, I really love this patina on the top. And then yeah, um, this is the front. And yeah, even this piece is patina really well. And then yeah, the two zippers. Um, the only issue I've been having with this one is yeah, I have noticed a bit of peeling of the canvas, um, especially around the zipper pull area where you do pop up this lip in order to get into the bag. Um, but also on the back of the bag, like certain areas down here has a bit of like kind of peeling, so to speak. But um, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. I still have my Chanel Zippy wallet in here and some other items. Cause I was, like I said, using this bag recently. Um, but yeah, this bag has been coming out quite a bit lately to go. I went to a festival last weekend, which I'll probably be doing a review about that festival. Um, it was like an art festival and I took this bag, wore it around the waist. Um, also, just to kind of run errands, I've been taking this bag out and I have not been using the organizer, so that's been a new thing for me as well. Um, I just kind of like to maximize and utilize all the space and almost utilizing this or using this as like a dump bag. So I feel like I've become a lot more comfortable carrying this specific bag because it is, I don't know, kind of getting that more worn in look to it that I was really wanting and liking, especially since the, you know, the canvas has been somewhat cracking a bit or peeling in some of these like little areas. So I could take it to Louis Vuitton, but the only thing they're gonna do is probably give me a credit um, to purchase another bag and I don't want a bag, another bag, especially since they don't make this design anymore. So I'm just gonna live with it. It just is what it is. It'll probably just add more to the worn in look of the bag. But yeah, definitely been loving this one. And unfortunately, again, this one has been discontinued. So you would have to get it on the pre-love market, likely for a markup. And yeah, with as much as I've used this bag in the past few months, definitely in the past month, cannot believe I was thinking about selling it because of the other bag I'm gonna show you that I bought. And I thought I, because I bought the other bag that I wouldn't be using this one anymore, but I've definitely still been using this one quite a bit. The looks and the vibes are different between both bags. So yes, absolutely love this one. And if you guys have any questions about any of these items, definitely let me know. And then last but not least, another bag um, that I've been using quite a bit. And I wasn't certain about this bag, but I'm really glad that I have been using it a lot more, um, especially as we've been getting into the warmer temperatures here in Houston. But it is this cutie right here. And this is my Hermes Picatin Lock 22 Gold on Gold. So gold is the color, 37 gold to be exact. And the hardware is also gold. Um, I have this Twilly that I bought last January when I got my Picatinn Lock 18 in the um, 88 Graffiti color. So I bought this Twilly then. Um, and I've just been switching between my two Twillies that I bought last year. Um, haven't gotten another Twilly. I don't think maybe, I, I think maybe I won't get another Twilly. Um, I'm not certain right now, but this is the bag I carried out and wore with my outfit today for um, service. And so I did something a little different today though, guys. So I took my organizer out because I wanted to wear the bag with the sides kind of pushed in. 
to give it like a different look and it just cannot be accomplished with the organizer in. It barely works with the organizer out, but this is kind of how I wore it today, like a little croissant. <laughs> so that was kind of the one of the things I really liked about getting the 22 that you could wear it a little bit differently. So this is how, yeah, I wore it today so it could have more of a sleeker look. And yeah, I just love this bag so much. I love the contrast stitching with the white and the brown. Um, and like I said, I've been wearing it quite a bit lately. The bag um, doesn't feel too big. And I actually am loving the Clemence leather. Like, I know this is this can get annoying, especially with it being a bigger bag. Like, you just kind of see how it flops on itself. But I just think it's such a soft bag. Um, and it's just... I don't know, it's so nice. So I've been loving, loving, loving this bag lately. Um, I am gonna put my organizer back in because that was just for today. But yeah, this is kind of all my items in here flopping around. I need to get them out before they stain the interior. But yeah, this bag is, you know, this is me. I don't think I'll be selling this one. Um, I don't think I will anyway. But um, yeah, this has been definitely different without the organizer. It definitely just has more flexibility to it. So, but yeah, I've been loving this one. You guys know I got this one back in August um, before I went on my London trip. I got this one directly from the boutique. I had been asking for it for a while. My sales associate did get it in. So yeah, I really did want the gold on gold. I was a little uncertain about the gold when I first got it because to me, it seems like it has a little bit of like an orange undertone. It's a bit, it's a bit bright to me, and I was expecting um, something a little bit darker or deeper. But actually, this goes with quite a bit, and I have been loving this gold on gold color. Um, so yeah, this has been beating my 18 as it relates to use. Yeah, every time I'm going out, I definitely will pull this one out. Um, and yeah, I thought when I got this one that I wasn't gonna use this anymore because I'm like, oh, well, this is like now my brown bag that I'll carry everywhere. But guys, you can always use a bum bag, you know, especially because it's so convenient. Like I can put it around the waist, put it to the side, and I don't have to really worry about it or carrying anything on the shoulder. And yeah, because this one is so kind of used and beat up, like I just am not that careful with it anymore. So I just really love how this one um, has grown with me. So been loving these two bags definitely in the past few months. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. One of, I guess a few, sorry, hit the camera, but one of a few that I'll be filming today. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, before you leave, make sure you do share this um, video with anyone else who likes this type of content. And before you leave, make sure you do um, subscribe to the channel. You do that by hitting the red button and hitting the bell next to it. Um, and guys, if you have any favors that you've been enjoying, make sure you comment below. I might have already said this. I'm sorry. I'm kind of tired. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye, guys.